Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to the Tour de France 2021, episode number two, stage two. Uh, we are currently in the yellow jersey with Egon Today's Bernil. Road is hilly and a leg breaker. Perfect for attacking, which should suit the punches. Given that we're heading the general classification, we'll have to set the pace at the front of the peloton. For me, our lead should be enough to keep us out of danger. We should be able to get into the top ten of the stage. But with this hilly route, there are ways to launch attacks from far out and surprise the favorites. Good race, guys. Go, go. Okay, before I was rudely interrupted. Uh, yeah, so we came in on the yellow. Um, Land is behind us, Roger, Pochka. We got, we got a nice little time gap there. So again, this is another interesting stage. This is why I think this year's tour is going to be so good out of the blocks. Um, we're looking at another stage where we could possibly take the uphill finish. Uh, we definitely want to be keeping an eye on Rodjic and Pojica and Valverde, of course. Uh, so, yeah, we'll definitely keep an eye on everybody. We'll probably have to control the peloton a little bit today. I feel like we could go a little bit out because tomorrow is a sprint stage, so we plan to sit in the peloton all day. Don't plan to ride too hard for the next two days. And uh, then we go into the time trial. So I think we could probably go for this again today. Hello and welcome to all. We're in Brittany, the Côte d'Armor department to be precise. That will be the setting for the stage. With a finish on top of the Côte de Mur de Bretagne, there's no doubt that today's winner will be among the best punchers in the peloton. Okay, guys, as always, we're going to set up our race here. We want Carapaz to make sure he's protected by Neil. Uh, Port can protect uh, Carapaz, probably. Um, again, not too much of a big deal. I do plan us to... Uh, Try and take control of that peloton, actually. Okay, I'll protect him. Guys, today, almost flat all the way to the final circuit. There's two climbs at Mur de Bretagne, and it's on the second one that the stage victory should be decided. Enjoy yourselves. Okay, so we are moving to the front of the peloton with minimum pace. Uh, okay, I'm just going to sit in the wheel of Duplus. Uh, Rohan Dennis is out the front there. Richie Port is actually trying to get involved. Let's let them all get involved first. Let them organize themselves. To set up a counter -attack. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're going to control the peloton for most of the day. I, didn't get far. I'd imagine. Watch out for counter moves. Attempt at a breakaway. Uh, we're setting now for minimum effort for the day. I like this. Hopefully, no one bothers us too much we'll see how we go we'll let the breakaway go as long as there's nobody in there that we're too worried about one point to be gleaned towards the polka dot jersey okay so we're up our first uh climb very small climb uh, I'm not putting any effort into this climb breakaway is at nearly three minutes we could lose the yellow jersey today um, but I'd imagine that some teams will want to reel them back in. Chris Froome, back at the front again. Uh, I'd imagine that some teams are going to want to reel them in. I do have my guys working at the front of the peloton, uh, but I have them on very low. So other teams will start taking over uh, duties, I would imagine, very, very soon. Okay, so we're up the next uh, climb, the Court de Portic. Is losing its lead. It's going to be difficult for them. Again, we're using very little energy to uh, get up over this very small climbs. Uh, most of the other teams seem to be taking over the duties of bringing back that uh, breakaway, uh, which I expected. I don't really want to work our team too hard. Maybe if we're close enough uh, within the last kind of climb, maybe we will set a bit of a higher tempo. But at its current state, everything is very calm and very nice. There you go. We're putting in a little bit of effort here now. And that's it. Does it look like Israel Star Nation seem to be joining to the front? They seem to definitely want to. Uh, I'm surprised Yumba Visma haven't moved to the front of the peloton the yet. Are also taking part in the pursuit of the breakaway. Okay, guys, so we're going up the uh, Côte de Mer de Bretagne. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get my guys now to set a high tempo at the front of the race. Uh, I'm kind of getting barricaded in here. What the hell's going on? Uh, we have terrible track position. Okay. 
I need to try and move Bring out here. Over. Breakaway has been caught. I do want a high tempo set by my team to see if we can catch some of these guys out. The first passage across the top of the Mure de Bretagne climb will earn points for the mountains classification. But there will also be bonuses for the general classification. Eight, five, and two seconds for the first three riders. So this is a pretty steep gradient, 6.3%. Uh, we're doing okay. Richie Port's around us. Rohan Dennis is here. Uh, I just want to keep an eye on the other guys, really. Okay, let's make sure Carapaz is here to come and protect me at least. He's trying to get out. Watch out! The Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. He's got his teammates riding because in front there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standings. Okay, I got my men around me. Okay, so we're coming into the final part Attack. of this. No need to ask questions. Five kilometers out. Five kilometers left for the head of the race. He's moving on to the attack. He's trying to get out of the peloton. Watch out. Okay, try and stay well placed it. There we go. We're going to have the rest of our food. Counter attack at the front of the peloton. He's trying to get out. Watch out. I think we're going to be off. okay. The peloton is on to the final climb. And he is the red pennant for the men at the front. Victory will be decided in a sprint. Okay, guys. We've got Lopez, Woods. I think it's Barguil at the front, is it? I'm not sure. Another 500 meters to gain no, no, the Okay, let's go. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. What a second stage. So we should have got another time bonus as well. All smiles as he climbs onto the podium. Applaud him. Here is the winner of the Perros Girec Mur de Bretagne stage. Egon Bernal. He found a way to master his rivals in order to raise his arms and he will climb onto the podium to receive his jersey and a kiss from the hostesses. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. And he's in sparkling form, and you can clap him loudly. Here's the green jersey of this Tour de France. He tops the standings and will receive the traditional honours. He's in sparkling form, and you can clap. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We weren't even amongst the outsiders. Can you imagine? Well done for this win. We retain the yellow jersey. It's a perfect day. Okay, guys. So we're actually holding the classifications in every uh, jersey currently. Uh, two points. 20 points in the sprint. Uh, okay. T 
Team classification. Uh, any other screen ideas? We are doing the best at the moment. Nice. Okay, so we got a bit of uh, bonus time seconds there, uh, which is good. I didn't put any other time into uh, Podjica or Rojlic. Uh, so look, we've got to take what we've got. That's stage two done. So for the next two stages, um, Ineos are definitely going to be easing off um, and hopefully we're going to be okay. Condition wise, we're looking all right. We're still in good condition, um, but definitely two days rest before we get into that time trial, which I'm not very good at. So every second will count for sure. If you're enjoying this content, please subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications. Come join Discord if you haven't done so already. And I'll that for myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.